Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today I'm gonna give you the updated best salary cap lineup, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course subscribe and put you a noti game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So um, I do not wanna be long-winded, but I will say this is that with the new dynamic duos that are now out, it makes a lot of sense to utilize as many of them as possible, especially because they have just up the prices on a lot of popular cards. OK, so um, I'll show you the pop some of the poppy cards as we go. And then, of course, you know, let you know why I went this direction. OK, but from the PG spot, what I decided to do is go to a shooting guard and go to an actual amethyst and slide down here. You do need to go ahead and make sure you evo him, but it is going to be Derek White for four hundred dollars now Derek white for four hundred dollars he's one of the best lockdowns you're going to get on the game he's six four 95 perimeter defense and then as you come down here he has an 84 three ball but he has a really really good shot okay he has 91 perimeter defense 87 still 78 interior defense you know to me personally you're not going to be able to get a better bargain at four hundred dollars than him okay like you're not he has challenger hall of fame he has clamps hall of fame of course he had the rice gripper and all that type of stuff now the reason why i went here is with him at 400 because i felt like he would be a better version than um my man uh y'all yeah, know i'm talking about the other evil card what is his name bro i'm drawing a blank um little short guy um beverly patrick beverly okay so um i went this route because again now i can go back and show you the reason being is because now the popular cards that we like you know the um let me go here diamond i uh was rock you see him these guys here um um he's 1800 which is still a good price and his brother's gonna be 2000 the problem is everybody's been using them so i did want to go a different direction okay that's one now another option would be marcus smart if y'all want to go marcus smart he's a good option also pink diamond if you're if you're okay with the release then you can definitely go ahead and go with um jeremy lynn and then the other diamond player is going to be drew holiday but i felt like there are a lot of recycled rinse and repeat type of deals so i just didn't think that would be a good idea just to continue to go with the same group of guys that we have been going with so i changed it up and went with him but again 400 dollars you can't beat that all right now we're going to talk about actual players that are going to be um dynamic duos okay so the first one we're gonna do is go to shoot shooting guards, just go to diamonds because I'm pretty sure he's gonna be evoed already. Um, if he's not evil, then I'll go the other direction. But uh, let's see. Okay, he's not evil. Okay, cool. So let's go back down. Where are you at? I think he would be here now, right? If I'm not mistaken, he should be here. Uh, there he go. We're going with my man Kevin. I was a herder, whatever. Um, 90 overall. He has a really, really smooth release. Um, I just think that he's just going to be really fun to use. He's different. He's six seven, all right. And we already know Sabonis is going to be his um, dynamic duo. Now Sabonis is really intriguing in the fact that he just has a very quick release. Now you can see they're both become diamonds, right? And again, when you look at him, you know he's seven foot one, 93 offense, 88 defensive. But look at everything that jumps up. He has an 86 three ball now, a 92 mid range, 95 post control, 90 pass, um, 87 pass accuracy, 90 IQ, 91 interior defense, 79 speed, 90 strength, 75 vert, right? Really, really good here, okay? Really good. And keep in mind, he's only $1,800, $1,800 now, right? This is a diamond, $1,800. Same thing for Kevin. He is going to be boosted up also remember he is six seven but look at this a 94 three ball 92 draw foul 90 free throw remember keep in mind they also get badges upgraded too but you can't see that on this side but he gets the badges upgraded and um at the end of the day i just feel like this would have been really really good both of these guys are really good shooters pick and pop they're gonna be a really true five out okay but then you're gonna be like yo where's the defense at where is going to be the heart and soul of your defense well they have a dynamic duo that is absolutely insane and i was like bro i got to have this duo all right so we're gonna go over here to diamond real quick and we're gonna go ahead and pick him up because he is just gonna be too fun and that is gonna be jonathan isaac he is 2700 right but He's going to be the best pink diamond value you ever see. Because if once you team him up with Banchero, all right, 
And Banchero actually is, I think he is a Ruby starting off with, if I'm not mistaken. So let's find um, Banchero. Where are you at? Banchero? Yeah, here you go. 87. He goes from an 87, boom, to a 93. And then Jonathan Isaac goes from a 93 to a 96. And he gets all these Hall of Fame badges, 610, right? Look at all this, man. 94 three ball now. <laughs> 95 mid-range, 94 drive and layup, right? 90 ball handle, 84 pass accuracy, right? His offense just got souped. And look at this right here, 89 speed of ball, 91 acceleration, 88 strength, 92 vert. Really, really solid. And then Manchero jumped from 87. All his stuff got really, really strong. He's 6'10 also, but he gets an 86 close shot, 84 three ball, 88 mid-range. And everybody's used to his jumper already. Everybody's used to everything about him. So to me, it's just not going to be a big jump. 80 perimeter defense, 81 interior defense. And then again, the 81 speed, 80 acceleration. I just think this is going to be so, so fun. A different type of lineup that we have not seen before. And I'm going to have a lot of fun just playing with these guys, right? Because you just don't get an opportunity to get these dynamic duels activated and i felt like that was a good time to do it okay and then now when we come here to the shooting guards we're going to go ahead and use a tandem once again of um wagner and suggs i feel like that's a really really good value right there he becomes an 88 for 1900 88 and then we go ahead and get suggs in here which again i think he is a he starts off as a shooting guard or a small four small forward okay so i know he's a ruby but he's a small forward all right there we go and they both come from an 89 they both jump up from a 94 to 92 respectfully and everybody's pretty much you know know what they what it does for them 93 three i mean like they're just gonna be good cards all right i mean they're not nothing new here um for our um next dynamic duo we're gonna be going with my man nicholas batum and we're gonna go with lamarcus aldridge now um the reason why i feel like nicholas batum and lamarcus aldridge are just gonna be so good check this out he goes from an 86 okay and then we get aldridge which is i think he starts off as an amethyst so let me go to him as an amethyst and we find lamarcus aldridge 91 boom so he drops he jumps up from an 80 something to a 91 he goes up from a 91 to a 93 but you're looking at a very versatile card here at 6 8 that can do a little bit of everything but again as you see right here 93 interior defense 93 perimeter defense 88 still 75 block the offensive rebound went up 88 speed 97 i mean like just really cooking with grease 90 pass possession just a big souped up lockdown and then of course with lamarcus aldridge same exact thing, he gets souped up all the way up and down also, but again, as you're gonna see right here, his offensive rebounds got a big jump, interior defense got a big jump, his speed went up to an 80, and he's gonna have one of the best quick releases on this game shooting-wise, so you should have a lot of fun with this dynamic duo. So you'll basically will have these four and then sub them out and then put these four in, and then the last thing we're gonna do is just put in our power forward. And I went with, again, I, there was different options here, but I felt like, again, just trying to have somebody different that needs that can shoot that has a good release and i felt like it would have been where's my oh man it's amethyst kenny for right there the manimal right there for 1400 boom okay so this is what i'm looking at as an updated team using utilizing those dynamic duels now there's other dynamic duels right but they were just very expensive um up top so i felt like you know jonathan isaac paul and paulo benchero were really good one kevin herter and you know um Sabonis were another good one. We are, everybody's familiar with Jalen Suggs and, and Wagner and Batoon and Aldridge. They're old. You know, so the only new dynamic duo I really use were these two. It's just that, you know, these guys, Sabonis and um, Kevin Herter were, were are new. I mean, um, are cheaper now. So it just makes sense. And then of course, all you gotta do is just top it off with some gold cards at 100 overall. Just go all the way down until you find 100 overall. Boom, 100 overall. Do, 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 just find 100. Boom, 100 overall. Oops. Let's go all the way down to find another 100. Boom. All right, there you go. So now you're right at $15,500. Um, $15, and I think that this is going to be really fun because you're going to be just absolutely rocking with a lot of diamonds and stuff that are usually gonna be more expensive than what they are because they are a dynamic duo just gotta remember to keep them in the they have to be on the court at the same time for the dynamic duos to, you know to activate but um anyway there you have it, my nephew Sinesis. i'm very curious to know what other dynamic duo you think would be really good that makes sense for a salary cap 
And of course, what do you think about this lineup? What would you change differently? But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on the Banger Man. And you know, when I say back soon on the Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.